is Garuda. So Garuda is like Lakshmi, aspiring to become a gopi. Garuda is aspiring to become the carrier of Krishna. But that's, it's not part of Krishna's pastimes. Uh, he's got the wrong mood. He's got that, that neutrality, that awe and reverence, Vaikuntha mood. So, lots of luck there, Garuda. The symptoms of ecstatic love are sometimes grouped under four headings, namely generation, conjunction, aggregation, and satisfaction. Krishna once told Radharani, My dear friend, when you tried to meet me alone in the morning, your friend Mekhala remained hungry with envy. Just look at her. When Krishna was joking with Radharani in this way, Radharani moved her beautiful eyebrows crossly. Rupa Goswami prays that everyone may become blessed by this movement of Srimati Radharani's eyebrows. <laughs> this is an instance of the generation of malice in ecstatic love of Krishna. He's provoking her. See, he's talking about how Mekala was feeling jealous. See? So, you know, young girls have very strong emotional ties. So if, if Krishna accuses Srimati Radharani's friend of being jealous of their meeting, see, then he's coming in between the relationship between these two young girls, which is not a very good thing to do, if you've ever tried it. Uh, they tend to be very, they can't tend to stick together like glue. So he's actually provoking Srimati Radharani. And so she's like, hmm, you know, cross, crossing her eyebrows. Huh? Huh? What? Radharani is getting mad at Krishna because he's, he's insulting her girlfriend. Okay. She's, like, hmm. she's like, yeah, she's like, Krishna. Yeah. Krishna likes to do this. He likes to, he likes to provoke Radharani. This is part of the game that they play, the, their, uh, their love games. Huh? It's very hard for us to understand. You, you have to... You have to get into this whole thing. It takes a long time to understand. Uh, it may take years to understand. But that's all right. One night, after the Putana demon had been killed, baby Krishna could be seen playing upon her breast. Upon seeing this, Yashoda became stunned for some time. This is an example of a conjunction of various symptoms of ecstatic love. The conjunction can be auspicious or inauspicious. That the Putana demon had been killed was auspicious, but that Krishna was playing on her breast in the dead of night with no one to help him in case of trouble was inauspicious. Yashoda well, thus was caught between auspiciousness and inauspiciousness. After Krishna had just learned to walk, he was going in and out of the house very frequently. Yashoda became surprised and said, This child is too restless and cannot be controlled. He is incessantly going about the neighborhood of Gokula, Vrindavan, and then he is coming back inside the house. I see that the child is very fearless, but in spite of his fearlessness, I am becoming more and more afraid of his falling into some danger. This again is an instance of the conjunction of two opposing elements. The child was very fearless, but at the same time Yashoda was becoming fearful of some danger. Here danger is the cause, and Yashoda's feelings are in a conjunction of two opposing symptoms. In other words, Yashoda was feeling both happiness and doubt, or growing fear. Hmm. When Devaki, the mother of Krishna, saw her son very jubilant in the presence of the wrestlers in Kangsha's arena. Two kinds of tears were simultaneously gliding down her cheeks. 
Sometimes her tears were warm and sometimes they were cold. This is an instance of a conjunction of jubilation and lamentation due to different causes of ecstatic love. Once when Srimati Radharani was standing on the bank of the Jamuna River in the forest of Vrindavan, she was attacked by Krishna, who was stronger than she. Although she externally expressed a disturbed mood from this incident, within herself she was smiling and feeling great satisfaction. Externally, she moved her eyebrows and made a show of rejecting Krishna. In this mood, Radharani looked very beautiful, and Srila Rupa Goswami glorifies her beauty. This is an instance of exhibiting varying feelings in ecstatic love, although the cause is one only, Krishna. Sometimes there were great festivals in the house of Nanda Maharaj, and all of the inhabitants of Vrindavan would assemble for these festivals. During one such festival, Srimati Radharani was seen wearing a golden necklace given her by Krishna. This was immediately detected by Mother Yashoda as well as by Radharani's mother, because the necklace was too long for Radharani's neck. At the same time, Radharani could see Krishna nearby as well as her own husband, Abhimanyu. So all of these things combined to make Radharani feel very much ashamed, and with her face shriveled, she began to look very beautiful. In this case, there was a combination of bashfulness, anger, jubilation, and lamentation. This is an, entrance, an instance of an aggregate of symptoms of ecstatic love. Maybe we will finish. Kangsa once said, What harm can this boy do to me? He has no power. The next moment, Kangsa was informed that all of his friends had been killed by the boy. <laughs> then Kangsa began to think in perplexity, Shall I go immediately and surrender unto him? But how can a great warrior do this? The next moment he thought, Why should I be afraid of him? There are still so many wrestlers standing to support me. But the next moment he began to consider, this boy is certainly not common because he has lifted Govardhan Hill with his left hand. So what can I do in this connection? Let me go to Vrindavan and inflict pain on all the residents there. But still I cannot even go out because my heart is trembling from fear of this boy. <laughs> oh boy, is he mixed up, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Poor Kangsa. This condition of Kangsa's mind reveals an instance of pride, lamentation, humility, determination, remembrance, doubtfulness, anger, and fear. Actually, eight different symptoms comprise the mental condition of Kangsa. This is another instance of an aggregate of symptoms in hopeless, ecstatic love. Oh boy. One householder devotee once said, My Lord, I am so wretched that the two eyes, these two eyes are never desiring to see the glorious city of Matra. Therefore, my eyes are actually condemned. I am nicely educated, but my education has simply been used in government service. I have not considered formidable time, stronger than anything else, which creates and annihilates everything. To whom shall I leave all of my wealth and fortune? I am becoming older and older. What shall I do? Shall I execute devotional service from here at home? This I cannot do, because my mind is being attracted by the transcendental land of Vrindavan. This is an instance of hopelessness, pride, doubt, patience, lamentation, determination, and eagerness an aggregation of seven different symptoms in ecstatic love of Krishna. There is a proverb in Sanskrit which says, disappointment gives rise to the greatest satisfaction. In other words, when one's sentiment or ambition becomes too great and is not fulfilled until after seemingly hopeless tribulation, that is taken as the greatest satisfaction. 
Once the cowherd boys in Vrindavan were vainly searching for Krishna for a long time, and for that reason their faces became blackened and their complexions appeared faded. Just then they could hear on the hill a faint vibration from Krishna's flute. Immediately all of them became very much gladdened. This is an instance of satisfaction in the midst of disappointment. Srila Rupa Goswami says that although he has no expert knowledge about the sounds and meanings and mellows of the symptoms of ecstatic love, he has tried to give some examples of different varieties of love of Krishna. Well, if he doesn't have any knowledge, then where are we? He further states that the 33 disturbing symptoms of ecstatic love, plus eight other symptoms, all taken together equal 41 primary symptoms of ecstatic love. These 